type is this location then come to the state to the next point and today we are going to be discussing about introduction of the selenium here what is selenium basically a selenium is a, a suit to a software tools a suit of software tools to automate a web browser means it is having a suit of software tools using that tools we can able to do automation automate a web browsers means it is having suit some tools which is presented that using that we can able to do automation and if you see some other uh, other tools uft a formal we can able to call as qtp rft and test formal these all are single application it is not having a suit of software but it is having single application A Selenium will support only web-based application, but it will not support a Windows application. And Selenium is open source, open source of tool main, mainly used for functional integration, test automation. And if you see that uh, UFT is a paid tool, and Selenium support various operating environment, Windows, Linux, Mac. Like that, we can able to a different different operating environments, and UFT supports only a Windows related operating systems. Selenium supports a various browser interface supporting that's like Chrome, Firefox, IE, Opera, etc. Selenium already supports only Firefox and Chrome. Selenium supports a various programming environment to write. Programs, test scripts, Java, C sharp, dot net, Python, PHP, Perl, or Ruby, JavaScript. And the history of Selenium is basically Selenium first come to a life in 2004, and after that 2006 they introduced Selenium Web Driver was launched at Google. 2008 they decided to merge with Selenium RC and Selenium Web Driver. to do order to form a more powerful selenium powerful to call a selenium 2.0 put by selenium 1.0 idrc and selenium critics are presented selenium 2.0 we have rc plus web driver that they introduce but in selenium 3 selenium rc is they are using maintenance purpose but selenium web driver they used and also they used some future additional features to add it into a selenium that is selenium 4 is absolute one no browser driver supporting or change to support of firefox using echo driver selenium id export uh, expected scripts and in introducing for a uh, w3 web driver And we have new version is Selenium 4.0 beta version. Here also Selenium ID web driver and it is presented. And additionally, they are use some extra features that called a capturing the screenshot for specific web element and the new tab opening on the browser, new window on the browser. If you want to open a new window, you can able to use the new window, and you can able to do it. Object locations like height, weight, location where x and y coordinations, element where it is presented. Those things we can able to locate. And relative locators, we have previously eight locators, but they are going to introduce and selling a four. There are few more a new locators. Chrome driver dev tool call dev tool means three point zero when while uh, we are doing for Chrome driver launching uh, by default internally it will call the remote web driver class but Selenium four they are going to introduce like Chrome driver Chrome driver is predefined some uh, predefined methods are presented that we can able to access for the dev tool to access. Chrome driver and Selenium support the suit Selenium ID 
Uh, it is a uh, predefined for Selenium Firefox plugin, and we can able to use uh, create and execute for the test cases. Selenium high we have in the features. We can able to create test case and we can able to create suit. We, uh, here it is having the record option for that particular test cases. What allow we are doing operations, right? It will record and we can able to play and pass that the video. And we can able to use element locator, silence commands, and we can able to execute based upon the creation of that. We can able to edit test cases, execute test cases, test suit, a debug test case, enhance test case, and export the test case other formats. Means what all we create at test cases, right? That we can able to export and draw back up Selenium ID. It's a uh, supports only Mozilla Firefox and Chrome. It does not support programming logic features to enhance in the test case. It does not support data driven testing. It is not suitable for complex test case design. No centralized maintenance of object and elements. Means we, we, if we want to store some data in Excel, if you want to consume, it is not possible. Okay. Selenium Web Driver is a programming interface to create and execute the test cases. Means if you want to create any test case using automation for Selenium Web Driver, you want to use a programming interface. Any language it will support, like Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, whatever the language based upon your requirement. And here some example like the Selenium ID does not. Uh, Having programming interface means we cannot be able to write any programming by default. Selenium ID is having HTML format. And Selenium Web Driver has a programming interface, but it does not have IDE. But if you will see that UFT, it is having both IDE as well as programming interface. And Selenium Web Driver supports a various programming environment to write our programs. Means we can able to use a different different languages to write a test case using Selenium driver, and we can able to use elements, object locators, properties for web driver method. We can able to create and execute test cases. Selenium web driver supports various browsers to create and execute the test cases and test scripts and test with various browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Opera, like that. And Selenium Web Driver support of various operating environments like Windows and like that. It is having only two drawbacks. It is it does not gen, uh, generate a detailed test report. Means it doesn't have any uh, inbuilt of our reporting tools. No centralized maintenance of objects and elements. A final topic is Selenium Grid. A Selenium Grid is basically used to execute the test case across a multiple browsers operating environments and matching in the parallel. Means we have 2000 or 5000 test scripts, but we want to execute all in parallel. One system it will take more time and we want to communicate on different systems and execute that all 2000 to 5000 scripts in less than all the system. That time we can use this and create. It will Call all multiple remote systems and it will parallel assign some test cases and it will execute and it will get the report for that. Selenium Grid 2 supports a Selenium RC also. Like Selenium Grid, if you are using two version of Selenium, that it will support Selenium RC. Uh, starting with like the right? RC, some maintenance purpose still they are using. That also it will support for the grid. That's all about this video. If you like the video, please like me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.